Are you looking for fast and easy ways to grind for cash in the Hunter Call of the Wild? If so, we have got you covered. Today we're going to look at some amazing spots for you to quickly set up and grind for cash on several different maps. We're going to start here in Medved and the first thing you're going to need guys is a tripod. Now you will find tripods in the tripod and tree stand DLC. You actually only need one tripod. You can pick it up and carry it with you. You don't have to leave it on your map. Now let me know in the comments guys what your favorite current way is to grind for cash and which map you like to do it on. Now I'm actually doing a moose grind here in Medved so so I am going to be picking up my tripod and traveling with it because you can only have 32 tripods on a map and as you can see I have many down already that I need for my moose grind. So we will be carrying it with us. So when I'm doing this grind for cash, I am carrying with me any two four to eight weapons. So I am carrying with me the 303 and I do have the Zarza 308. Now the reason you want to is you want to be able to cycle from one weapon to the next very quickly as you have fleeing animals. Now let me show you where we are on the map. We are on the big lake here in Medved and this is the best lake on the map for sure. Now the time you want to be here is between 4 and 8 a.m. You want to be here during daylight so that narrows it down from 5 30 to 8. Right now it is 7 7. Now let me just do a full scan of all the animals that you're going to see at this time in this location. So we have a whole pile of reindeer in this zone. Then we have more back here. I'm going to continue scanning. One back there. Another nice big herd over here. Another nice big herd as we continue scanning. Another one here. So that is a lot of reindeer in a very small small amount of space. So what you want to do is you want to target the herd that is closest to you first. When you have a herd that is over 200 meters away from you, they are not going to hear you shoot. They're not going to hear any calls. They're not going to hear you at all. You can run, you can do anything. Animals beyond 200 meters are not going to hear you. So we are going to target this herd first because they are within 200 meters and all the rest of the reindeer are not going to spook. So you'll want to take down as many as you can and for this reason I am using the Hyperion scope and the reason I use the Hyperion scope is I get the best field of view. Now I am going to show you the difference and put on the Argus in just a second. So you'll notice here that the black rim of my scope is not covering up a lot of space and what I want to be able to do is go from reindeer to reindeer to reindeer and kill as many as I can before they have all fled. See, now I have the Argus on and I am now zoomed in, so it is a lot harder to see the other reindeer in the area. I am better focused on one, but not better focused on all of them. And this is as far back as I can be. This is fully zoomed in, so that is why I use the Hyperion. So let's put that back on there. So I am zero to 150, and then it is time to shoot. Now, I need to stress the importance here. You really, really have to be in a hunting structure. It doesn't have to be a tripod. I like the elevation that it gives us, but you can be in any hunting structure. You can be in a hunting blind, anything at all, but you need reduced hunting pressure. So when I'm in a tripod or any hunting structure, I can kill 15 animals and the 16th will kill the zone. That's from each zone. And we have many, many zones around this area. So I'm gonna start with the reindeer that are closest together. I'm not really worried about what I'm killing. I just need to kill as many as I possibly can. Here we go. And any shot into it will do, they will die. I mean, it's always better to get a vital. And I should have cycled over to my next weapon so I didn't have to wait to reload, but I dropped the ball there. So let's change my zeroing to 300. And keep shooting. All right, let's take this beauty. What the heck happened there? I am definitely shooting blanks. And there is my big boy moose back there. We'll take this guy, he's about 300 meters and the shot connected. Sweet. Okay, so as you can see, by the hunting pressure, we have taken down quite a few reindeer. Now, I'm not going to worry about picking them up quite yet. Now, you can go and pick them up right away if you are sure you aren't going to spook any other reindeer. And I should be good. Now, the reason you want to go pick them up right away is if I go around and I continue killing, all this hunting pressure is going to disappear 
and it's gonna make it harder for me to figure out where I've killed reindeer and where to look because the bloodhound only picks up blood when you're about 50 meters away so if you are further it won't pick up the trail for you let's go see how many we actually got now I'm gonna write down how much cash I am starting with four million two hundred and twenty six thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars if you're wondering how I made so much money, most of it, the bulk of it, is from shooting red deer. And we are gonna check out some amazing red deer hotspots to do this exact tactic later in today's video. Now I'm actually gonna jump into this tripod before I pick anything up because I am within range of these guys and I don't wanna spook them. So let's take these two down and then we will pick up the rest. Now, if you are enjoying the video so far, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. It makes you awesome. It's free and it helps out the video a ton. Thanks so much for that. Now, if you are carrying tripods, multiple tripods with you, you can drop tripods, I'd say about 150 meters or more away from the animals and they will not spook. It actually might even be closer, but you don't wanna take any chances. Tents are not the same tent spook from a much closer distance. Splat. All right, now we can pick them up. Okay, so here is our first one. It's actually a level four silver. $1,024 for one reindeer is not bad at all. So that's one. Now I do recommend doing this with your bloodhound. It is going to make finding and picking up your animals a lot easier for you. And he comes in the bloodhound DLC. So I'm gonna pick up the ones I can see first. That's pretty easy. And once I can't see them, I will use my dog. He just makes tracking a non-issue. That's your cue, my dude. Now, even if you don't get a vital shot, they're not gonna go that far. They're just reindeer. Moose can go pretty far, but if you can get a vital, that is definitely what you wanna do because it cuts down on the tracking time. And time is important. You wanna get as many down as you possibly can in the shortest amount of time to make the most cash. All right, there's two. No vital there, $536, so it really does affect the payout. So you're getting about 50% when you don't take a vital shot. So you definitely do wanna be taking a vital shot if you can. I mean, the more you shoot and when you're taking them on the fly, it does get a lot harder. So making them dead is the most important thing. Now, what did I say there, three? something like that <laughs> three or four we'll call this guy four he's actually a nice one we have a gold very nice and eleven hundred and seventy three dollars very sweet all right Oof. five another beautiful vital almost twelve hundred dollars by having the hunting pressure still on the map, I wanna put my marker right in the middle. That's gonna lead me to where the animal was shot, not where it died, but from there I can track. So, oh, and we have more coming out, but I don't have a tripod. Now by carrying tripods with you, I can just quickly drop one. And as you can see, my reindeer are not spooking. We're gonna take these two down, and then I'm just gonna pick it right back up. So it is handy to carry them with you. 175 meters. And this one doesn't want to die. And down he goes. So then I will just pick this right back up and off we go. So as you can see here, I've already lost the hunting pressure that was over here. So it does disappear quickly when you are shooting from a hunting structure. It makes a huge difference, but you don't want to be destroying your zones. I think this is number six. I could be off. Seven. Put your waypoint right in the middle of the hunting pressure and once you are within 50 meters, then get your dog to track. Then he should definitely pick up the blood and maybe we've picked them all up, maybe we have. But you can see by doing this method, you can make a huge amount of cash in a very short amount of time and not even lose any zones. All you need is a couple four to eight weapons. You can get away with one and a tripod. That's it, all you need. Now, if you don't own this map, you can play it for free in multiplayer as long as somebody on the map owns it. And we have a pile of reindeer on the other side of the lake, so we can definitely go over there and set up another tripod or just move our tripod and do it again on this side of the map. So I would recommend doing it for all the zones from one tripod here and another one by dropping a tripod right in the middle here. That'll cover the whole lake. So now we hop back up into the tripod 
and we do it again for every single herd. And as long as one herd is over 200 meters away, they're not gonna spook. So you can just focus on one herd at a time. If you think picking them up is going to spook them, just do all your shooting at the same time and then pick them up. All right, so that is the best spot in Medved to do this money grind. Okay guys, so now we have swapped maps. We are now in Te Awaroa and we're gonna grind for some red deer. Now red deer are one of the top paying species in the game, especially when you are grinding for cash. I am in Pukamaro at this lake right here, which is just below the Tui Hut outpost. Now I spooked this herd when I came in, but they come back very, very quickly. You definitely want to be shooting hinds. They don't pay as much as the stags do, but they still pay pretty amazingly well and they are worth that bullet. Now, let me show you what's around this lake right now. So we have a huge amount of red deer here, a couple nice level sevens. Then we have another herd over here, most of which should not spook. This guy may, but these two probably won't spook. Now they're a really nice herd. They also will not spook. I'm not gonna shoot this guy because it will delete my zone seeing as that is a single stag zone. So we're gonna protect the zone and not worry about him. Oh, these guys are probably gonna spook, but let's see how fast they come back. So we're gonna start with this one right here. So I am gonna start with this beautiful stag and they are gonna vanish quickly. So if we can get a few down, that would be awesome. Here we go. Now the hinds, don't spook that easily. This is where you wanna cycle over and not take the time to reload your weapon. We got a few. So now we are going to scan the lake, see what's still around. All right, so that herd did spook. That's all right. All right, let's go for these guys. So you want to make sure both of your weapons are reloaded before you start firing away. We actually have a floater coming to us. Once you're done shooting, you can go and pick up your kills or you can just wait and the red deer will start to come back and then you can do it all over again. But probably the best thing to do would be to run around, pick up all your kills, and then we are going to go to a location on the river here, do it again, and that way, when you have two spots on the map, you can focus on grinding for cash. The hunting pressure takes care of itself. And look at all the bodies. We did all right. Okay, so a hind is paying us over a thousand dollars. That's pretty amazing. 1,054, $1,427 for a stag with a vital shot. Getting a vital definitely will pay you more. 1,335, and then it does take longer to find the ones that you did not get a vital on. This is where you use your dog. $1,162, not too bad. So we're already at about 10 grand just for this one zone and I haven't finished picking them up. So we're gonna run around the entire lake and pick up all of our kills and let's move down here. So this is a potential other spot you can set up to do this money grind. You'd want to drop your tripods in between herds, right in the middle. So I have a really nice herd of red deer here. I mean, there aren't many stags, but all of these hinds, they move slower and they pay over a thousand dollars. So that's pretty great. And we have feeding fallow out here as well. So we can take them both down. So this is where I might set up another one, but there are red deer loaded on this map. This lake up here, has six zones right now. You can have seven or eight sometimes. So this might be a really good one. And what you can actually do is come up here, maybe drop your tripod here, shoot up this herd, run over here, pick them up, move your tripod here and rotate the entire lake shooting all of the red deer. Now fallow are another species you can do this with and this lake is amazing for them. Oh, and I wanted to mention the time for doing this for red deer is between six and 10.30, so for me, I was around 9 a.m. And you definitely want to have a tent on these two lakes. These two lakes are pretty awesome. Now the fallow aren't all in here yet, but we have a really nice herd right here. And the nice thing about this lake is that it is very nice and open. So you're gonna be able to take probably most of them down as they flee because there's nowhere for them to hide. So drop a tripod and you can do this method right here on these two lakes. There will be more coming in. And we actually have a big boy right over here. 
Now another good location to grind for cash in Silver Ridge Peaks is up here in Tufon. And I have made the time 1422. It is Bighorn Sheep drink time. And they drink from 12 or 1230 till 16 or 1630 since the September update when everything changed. Now this spot isn't as good as it was before the update. Now if we do have mountain lions come in, these guys are gonna spook quickly but you still can grind for a nice stack of cash in this location at this time. But what you can do is come here during different times of the day and see what time you get the most animals and that is the best time to grind. So those are several different locations for grinding for cash. I will do a follow-up video if you guys would like me to. Let me know in the comments below. But I hope that helps you guys to stack a big pile of cash to check out all the best hotspots and zone times for every species since the update in Silver Ridge Peaks. Click here for the Silver Ridge Peaks Super Guide. Take care, guys.